is Labor Day, and while many of us will have the day off to relax, the day is really dedicated to the achievement of American workers. Now, over the years, we've seen our share of brilliant entrepreneurs in Minnesota, and some new ones are still popping up. This week in Find in Minnesota, the story of a Twin Cities man who turned his hobby into a successful small business, one that has doubled its sales in the past three years. Here's Angela Davis. Sometimes a name says it all, but in this case, I don't know. The logo and name of this Richfield business are displayed inside and outside its building, and even on the company car. But what the heck is monkey in a dryer? It is a custom screen printing business that kicks out tens of thousands of t-shirts a year, and it's growing like wildfire. Dallas Pogue is a graphic artist and the founder of this company. Six years ago, he was making t-shirts for his friends and paying a company to do the printing. He got so busy that he decided to cut out the middleman, lease his own printing equipment, and start his own business. We're doing it from the time we get up till we go to bed. And, but, you know, it's... It's yours, it's your baby. It's, it's on our schedule, you know. And the more we work, the, the, the bigger, the you know, more successful it gets. Dallas now has two employees, his longtime friend Matt, and his wife, so Drea. The the she showed us a t-shirt they made for one of their bigger clients, Target. So they wanted something for their employees. This one uh, they designed and they put it as like a bubble shirt. Mm -hmm. And uh, we used foil on it where we take sheets of uh, metallic foil, we place it over the part that we printed, heat press it on and peel it off. It's, it's still a little work in progress for Dallas credits his website for yeah. boosting his sales. Sure. He's constantly updating it and promoting the instant price quote feature. What do people say about your website? But they're always just complimenting it and I don't I never really understood why. And I I I did all that myself and I'm sort of self taught in that mm -hmm. department and I think that's the thing is I never really learned how to do it mm -hmm. the correct way. Right. So I did it my way. So that makes it distinct. I think so, yeah. The entire t-shirt is printed front and back, every inch of it. The guys here at Monkey in a Dryer showed us some shirts they made for a unit of the army stationed in Afghanistan. The soldiers wear them when they exercise and sometimes under their uniforms. They sent Matt this photo. The pride that these guys take in their work and their unusual company name goes right down to the boxes that the t-shirts are delivered in. Dallas personally prints this logo on each one. Dallas and his crew are also proud of their address. The barn that houses the printing equipment is one of the oldest structures in Richfield, as is the adjacent house that Dallas and Drea now live in. It's clear from looking at the images on their business cards and website. They are fond of times gone by and well on the way to making some history themselves. Okay, so still, what's the story with the name of the business? Well, Dallas says a friend once told him that he was in constant motion like a monkey in a tumbler. But he thought that was pretty funny. He changed it a little bit, though, to monkey in a dryer. There you go. Interesting. We do have a link to the company's website. Check it out at wccocom slash links. Well, it got a little and dark. No monkeys were harmed in the so. filming of that. <laughs> Glad to report that part I'm of it. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. <laughs>